Now to a Channel 3 exclusive. A shelter for abused women on the shoreline is the first in the state to shelter family pets, too. Yeah, this is a pretty unique idea that's already spreading to homeless shelters. Channel 3 New London Bureau Chief Kevin Hogan is reporting more on this tonight. Meet Jill. She and her housemate Jack are checking out their new home. It's an undisclosed house in New London for women who have escaped an abusive relationship. It's run by Safe Futures. Thanks to a $15,000 grant from Red Rover, Red Rover and Greater Good organizations are making the shelter more comfortable and pet friendly for the pets of residents. So putting together our lovely cat bridge over here, um, also installing dog runs, putting up chain link fence. In a matter of days, Greater Good and Red Rover volunteers installed fencing outside and a dog house here as well as at another site near the Safe Futures main office. So when a family experiences domestic violence, the family pet doesn't have to suffer too. We want to remove every barrier for a victim to leave. We want to have every opportunity for the family to stay intact, and that's children and pets, um, in a safe place. According to Safe Futures, 71% of survivors report a pet being threatened, abused, or killed as part of the abuse. Now the pet is safe too. Soon, New London's Homeless Hospitality Center will also be able to accommodate pets thanks to the Arizona-based nonprofit. The Greater Good Organization travels all over the country creating pet-friendly housing in domestic violence shelters in every state. This is just a place for them to play, get some fresh air, and if, if the residents need to go on a job interview or seek any other kind of service, the pet can stay here for a short while in the heated doghouse and be safe and secure. That was Channel 3's Kevin Hogan reporting. If you'd like to learn more about Safe Futures and the program, you can go anytime to the Channel 3 app.